Hi everyone, welcome to the Radium channel. I'm Gabriel and let's begin. So the, the client requested uh, a build that could handle both 3D rendering and uh, modeling, while also being able to video edit uh, both in 4K and 1080p, as well as um, still do some light gaming. We ended up deciding on a uh, Intel build. So starting with the i9-10900F, um, we opted for the 10900F. Um, as opposed to a 5800X, which is also in a similar performance bracket. Um, the 10900F still holds um, well against uh, 5800X, both in multi-core uh, multi performance. However, it is significantly cheaper, especially in the current uh, PC market. Uh, the 10900F provides a high core count and thread count with 10 cores and 20 threads, which is more than enough for 3D rendering that favors a uh, higher multi-core count. Uh, the low power consumption is also highly favorable and will help with good thermals with a TDP of only 65 watts. With the GPU, we decided to go with the 3060 Ti with a similar performance to a 3070 in terms of uh, workstation type uh, programs, both in 3D rendering and uh, modeling. It is both uh, a good price and uh, price to performance uh, GPU for the uh, price bracket of the PC. Uh, we opted for 32 gig of RAM, which is more than enough for uh, 4K editing, 3200 megahertz speed should be uh, more than enough. The motherboard is a MSI B460M Pro with four DIMM slots uh, for the uh, RAM upgrade potential in the future. Uh, with support of up to 128 gig. Uh, it also comes with Wi-Fi as well, so that frees up an extra PCI slot. Uh, in terms of appearance, the client wanted something clean, minimal, uh, low noise, uh, something that is also both uh, appealing but not too 
um, light heavy, uh, no RGB. So we opted for a very minimalistic black look with the all, all black fans, uh, case the Dark Flash DLM 22 black. Um, even though being a front, a solid front uh, panel, it still provides uh, excellent cooling with uh, three outtake fans and two intake fans that we put in. The Noctua NUH12 provides excellent cooling with low noise fans and is more than enough for the uh, 10900. All right, so let's move on to testing. We started with superposition with a focus primarily on GPU performance. The output score was 9970, which was actually above uh, the expected uh, 9600. So we were quite happy with that. The Cinebench scores as well uh, surprised us and uh, with a multi-score of 9894. Compared to the early Threadrippers, the 10900 in Cinebench multi-score compared um, similarly in terms of uh, output score. With uh, CPU temperatures, we under max load, we had a maximum of 57 degrees under 100% load and an idle temperature of 35 degrees with the room temperature at roughly 24 degrees. Final thoughts. The PC itself was easy to build. Uh, we opted for modular cables as well, for, so all the cabling at the back was nice and neat. Um, its slick and minimal design uh, meant that everything was ni nicely tucked away. And performance-wise, it definitely ticked all the boxes. In terms of what th both the client uh, required and what we expected, whether that be multi-core performance as well as single po core performance. Thanks for watching. Uh, please drop a comment below. What are your thoughts on the, um, the more sleek and clean workstation builds? If you've had any um, experience or if you actually prefer these over the RGB type PCs that um, are fairly popular now. Thanks.